Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and today, instead of teaching about quail or rabbits, I just want to share some advice with you. And, and this is a, a problem that I see with so many people out there, is that they get bored with something, and then they just give up on it. And I, you know, this is a, a lesson I've tried to teach my children. It took me a long time myself to learn. But life is cyclical. And that anything you do, any job you take, any relationship you take, there's going to be ups and downs with it. And I know that you know that. And I know that that's a very simple concept. But I think what a lot of people don't realize is that you're going to naturally go through your ups and downs. When you start, let's say, a job, for example, because that's a little simpler. When you start a new job, it's kind of exciting. Everything's new. Everything's You're ready to go. You want to make a name for yourself. Whatever it is, you know, it, it's, you're enthusiastic about it. And then after you've been doing that for a while you kind of get into a rut, maybe you kind of get into a little bit of a slump and you start thinking, you know, maybe this isn't the right job for me. This is kind of, I don't really want to go to work today. This is kind of, uh, you know, I don't really like it that much. And then you, most people will just look for another job, quit and go to another job. But here's the thing you got to realize is that it doesn't matter what job you take, you're going to go through that. And it's cyclical, just as easy as you were up when you started, you go down after a few months, you're going to be back up shortly. Work through those lulls and you will get past that. Now, I'm not saying that you should, you know, stick with a job that's a dead end, that has a bad culture, that has, you know, bad boss, that's abusive or any of those kinds of things. Same thing for relationships. Relationships are the same way. You, you go through lulls in a relationship. And, you know, depending on your personality, depending on, you know, your specifics, it depends on how severe those lulls are going to be. I see so many people, though, that just give up on a relationship or a job or whatever it is that they're doing in life because they hit a little bit of a lull in it and they're bored, more or less. Now, they may not express that as boredom. They may not realize themselves that that's what it is, that it's boredom. They may think, uh, you know, I'm just not happy for whatever reason. But getting a new relationship, getting a new job, getting a new, it's not going to make you happy. It will temporarily, you'll get that new feeling, that new excitement, but that's just a temporary thing. It's not going to last. You're going to go through those lulls again. And if you just stick with your job, stick with your relationship, then you're going to work through those lulls. You'll be back up in the, in the high points. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to be able to focus on the hilltops, not the valleys in life, because they're going to come. It, everything is going to come. Now, again, let me clarify this. I'm not saying you should stick through an abusive relationship. I'm not saying you should stick with a job that's go nowhere, that's going to, um, that, where the boss treats you bad, where there's a terrible culture there, or any of those kinds of things. But before you decide to give up on one of those things, just evaluate it and, and think through it and think, is this a, a situation where it's really bad for me? Or is it just a situation where maybe I'm just a little bit bored with it and I can work through that and I can get past those times? Um, that goes. Everybody's going to go through those. Any job you take. And I see so many people that just never make it anywhere in life past entry-level jobs. And that's okay if that's what you want to do. But if you have aspirations to be more, you've got to be able to stick through those low points and work it out. Now, I've been with my current job a little over 11 years, worked for this company for about 11 years. And there's been plenty of times where I've thought, man, I just don't really want to go to work today. I just don't really want to deal with this today. And it's not just a day. It's, you know, it's months or, or weeks at a time at least where you feel like that. But when you work through those things, the reward is so much greater because even in a job, you build those relationships with the people that you work with. Um, you, you understand you know, there's so much more reward to the job when you've been with it for a long time, you've been doing your job for a long time, and um, you, you're recognized uh, as the expert. You're recognized as, not necessarily the expert, but as competent, as, you know, you don't need as much supervision as you did when you first started, those kinds of things. There's just a lot more reward that comes with that than there is in constantly being the new guy on the block. And it may be exciting when you start a new job or when you start a new relationship. But again, that level, that's not going to last. That's going to wear off over time. When we speak about relationships, I see so many people that just give up on their marriages, give up because it, it just gets a little bit boring for them. And the, the term in relationships is, oh, we just fell out of love. And that's, that's not the case at all. What I think most people don't realize is that love is not an emotion. Love isn't a choice. Now, there is emotion that comes along with that, but love is a choice that you make. And if you just stick through those low points when it's boring, when it's not exciting, when it's not fun, and work through those, there's going to be so much more reward that comes with that in the long run. Um, 
I'd say I've, I've lost my train of thought there for a minute, but I, I think this is an area, um, you know, I used to tell my kids all the time that the secret to success, there is no real secret to it. It is show up a little bit early for work, do a little bit more than you're asked to do, and stay a little bit later than you're expected to stay. That's really about all there is to being successful in a job. Now, you have to be competent, you have to do good work and all those kinds of things, but you know, assuming that you're giving your best effort and you're doing all those things then and you're being a good employee, you're not stirring up drama, you're not you know, cheating, scamming, any of those kinds of things, then you're going to be successful. Now, you may not be the CEO or the president of the company, but that's not how you measure success. Um, so, you know, success is, it, it's really relative. It's to what you want to do with your life. Now, again, this is not, you know, you're not going to necessarily start at, you know, well, I'll, I'll use examples. I had family friends that um, started working fast food restaurants when they were in high school and uh, decided they wanted to stick with it. They ended up becoming managers of the fast food restaurants. Now, a lot of people think fast food's a go-nowhere job, but these people make pretty good money. They're pretty successful. They have lots of things in their life that it's anybody would look at them and say they were a success and it's because they stuck with it through the low times they showed up a little bit early they did a little more what was asked for them and they stayed a little bit later than they were expected to stay they weren't just watching the clock and as soon as it struck five o'clock i'm done i'm out of here they made sure the job was done before they left they did a little bit more than what was asked for them they didn't stand around and wait for somebody to tell them what to do and those are all a little bit different than the topic i'm talking about but the key to all that is You've got to work through those low points. When you run into those low points, realize it's you, it's nobody else that is at fault. And I don't mean that in a hateful point of finger at you what kind of way, but I think a lot of people always look at it, when they hit those low points, they look at somebody else to fix it. It's somebody else's problem. It's because of them that I'm in this situation. It's not. It's just a part of life. It's just something that you go through. Same thing with relationships. You you go through a low point in that and you think it's up to your partner to fix it because my partner's not doing whatever it is to make me happy. They can't make you happy. It's on you. You are the one that is responsible for your attitude, for your feelings, for all those things. And, and I know, again, it, I know it's hard to control. It, you feel like you're out of control of those things, but you can. You can, you can recognize those patterns as they come up and then you can uh, control your thoughts. You can control your actions to, uh, how do I say it? To overcome those kinds of feelings. Um, anyway, th- th- kind of rambling on a little bit today, but hopefully this is something that is helpful for somebody out there. Um, again, I do want to clarify though, I'm not saying you should stick with a dead end job. You know, it's going to go nowhere. Um, the, the company culture is terrible. Uh, they treat you like trash. I'm not saying you should stick with those kinds of things. If you can fix it, work with them to fix it, do it. Don't quit your job till you have another job lined up and don't take a job just for money. Look at the culture of that company. Is it a good culture? Is it, does it look like a place that you would like to work? There are certain things that I know for sure I would not want to do. I would not want to be an over-the-road truck driver. There's great money in over-the-road truck driving. For a lot of people, it's a fantastic job. For me, for my personality, it's not. I am about family and friends and, um, and, and those kinds of things. I like to be around people. I don't like to be secluded and on my own for, for long periods of time, and that's what that would require. That, that conflicts with my personality. But if you are that type of person, realize when you take that job, there's going to be points where it's not that much fun and where you feel like maybe I made the wrong decision in this. Work through those things and you'll come out better in the end for it. So anyway, just a piece of advice I wanted to share with everybody out there. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully you can relate to it and it does maybe help you out a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, God bless.